right, everyone, welcome back to the 4x4 Fab Shop. And today, we're going to just test weld some magnesium. Now, I've never welded mag, so a good friend of the channel, Ryan, works with mag a lot. Sent me some scrap pieces to try out. So we reached out to Rock Mount Welding. You know, we are an affiliate. They sent, so they sent us some Neptune M for magnesium. So during my apprenticeship, I actually machined some magnesium, and that was always the fear that it it will ignite on you if you're not careful. So you always keep your bucket of sand around, or you don't try to drown this out. And remember, any of the stuff you see as far as the welding rods and all that can be found at uh, rockmountwelding.com. I'll leave a link in the descriptions. So one of the big things you need to figure out also is, do you really have magnesium? So just basic depending on what the shape is, it looks like aluminum. So let me show you how to tell if you actually have magnesium or if it's aluminum. All right, so to figure this out, we're just gonna use a little plain old white vinegar. But if you just take and put a little bit of the vinegar, you got a fizzing effect on the, the magnesium. And looks just like water on the aluminum. All right, so Ryan shared some of his settings with me. I'm going to set this up. It welds the similar settings as aluminum. He does use the CK laser. That's what he said he likes to use. So I bought a couple pieces. Let's see how it works. I know tungsten grinders are expensive, but this was a fairly inexpensive $20 grinder from Harbor Freight. And the mount, you can only do a couple different angles, but it does a pretty good job. So you're, you're in this for 100 bucks somewhere in there. And we'll just use a little acetone. Now Rock Mount makes a flux paste that you can put on the back side of this stuff. So in case you do break through... It doesn't ignite. Okay, attempt number two. So I got a couple pieces. We'll weld this flat on there. So we turned the frequency from 70 to 120. And I went down to... Let's see here. Let's make this an even 80. An even 80 amps. I left a balance at 70. Let's see how this works. So when you first strike on it, it doesn't look like it's doing much, and it soots up very fast. So where on aluminum you think, well, I, I must have done something wrong because it's got a lot of black soot, right? So like here, not enough gas coverage, but there was still quite a bit of soot. And from talking to you know, the gentleman who welds this all the time, 
you can see here we started to get some of the beads going you know and I thought about not even showing this but I really want to show that it takes a few beads sometimes to get things working it's not just fire up the welder and make it work now if you do this all day every day well no problems for this for you so once you get the puddle going you really got to be careful not to really punch through it too much we get it burning on the backside because mag will ignite on you so slowly just dab your filler in and this stuff heats up really fast you'd be shocked at how much faster this mag will actually heat up and cool off more so than aluminum you can see here well, on some of my test pieces you know I burnt right through it in quite a few and these are some ugly welds in spots well most spots right there's a few on here that eh, maybe not too bad but for the most part this test piece ugly but get some of that Neptune M rod and slowly work on it so you're gonna get some black sooting and stuff like that that's just part of the the mag beast one thing you're gonna need is a bucket of sand if this stuff ignites on you a fire extinguisher is the last thing you want to put on it you have to smother it so just be ready to do that if you have to all right so that was welding magnesium and i'll be the first to say this is my first time ever welding mag so ryan if you watch the videos i very much appreciate the sample material you sent so he sent over a bunch of scraps and you know what i'll be the first to say I burnt up a lot of rod trying to figure this out because at first it kind of looks like aluminum but it's not there's a so there's a fine line on this to where you get a nice pool going and it'll just drop out on you that window of working the puddle versus it just totally imploding on you is much smaller than let's say aluminum or steel you would first think aluminum would be very similar, but trust me, it is not. The first go rounds, well, they were not that good. But the rod worked really well. Unfortunately, it was the welder holding it that didn't work as well. So it took quite a few, quite a few sticks of uh, this Neptune M in order to get where I at least thought it was marginally presentable. All right, so that was welding some mag. Now stuff like magnesium, and you've seen some of the other videos on the channel where we welded some cast iron. That really is Rock Mount Welding Alloy's forte. Hard to weld stuff, maintenance repairs, hard surfacing, that kind of stuff. So reach out there, whether you want the Neptune M or the Polaris. We do a lot of MIG welding with that. We do a lot of steel tube with the tartan. They'll have all that stuff there. And remember, you're going to have to do some practicing, just like we did here, right? So I show this just to show everybody that it takes some work to try to get a decent weld. And not to say that these are stack of dime Instagram welds. So check out Rockmont Alloys for all those materials with hard to weld and repairs. And check out some of these other videos that pop up here. So some of the other things we build on 4x4 Fab Shop. If there's things you want to see, please let me know. See you in the next video that pops up here.